Hey friends, welcome to the Farming Pastor's Life. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. I'm the Farming Pastor's Wife. I upload content mainly on cooking, occasionally on farming, ministry, all sorts of things, grocery hauls. You'll get a little bit of everything here. And if you think that's something you would enjoy, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and I would love to say welcome and welcome back to those who are returning. So today, <clears throat> we're making something kind of special. We're making an Amish peanut butter pie. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. Okay, so first of all, sorry guys, you're going to hear my dishwasher running. <laughs> It's fairly quiet, but every now and then, it'll, it you know, when it changes gears, <laughs> when it changes its whatever it's doing, it makes some noise. Um, <clears throat> we are making a peanut butter pie. Now, when I hear the term peanut butter pie, I think of, oh, we may not be making a peanut butter pie. I don't know if I have peanut butter. <sighs> I need to look. Okay, so I don't have peanut butter, but that's okay because um, I'm gonna send out for that. I don't need it till the end. Anyway, so as I was saying, when I think of peanut butter pie, I think of like peanut butter, um, maybe sweetened condensed milk, powdered sugar mixed with whipped cream, put in a either a graham cracker pie crust or a chocolate pie crust, an Oreo pie crust, something like that, maybe topped with meringue and stuck in the refrigerator. <clears throat> that is not how the Amish make their peanut butter pie. In fact, it's really not a peanut, I mean, there's peanut butter in it, but not in the pie part. You make a vanilla custard and you kind of decorate it or um, garnish it with peanut butter stuff. So that's why I don't need the peanut butter until later on. So we're gonna start with making the like vanilla custard inside, the inside part of the pie. We're gonna make it ahead of time and let it cool. Um, so it's a cool, when we put it in. Now, um, <clears throat> I will say, uh, this is the pretty much the recipe I used to use, but aren't you glad you can learn new stuff? <laughs> Several years ago, when I started watching Tammy over at Collar Valley Cook, I had always done my stovetop custard for my banana pudding and everything else. Did it the hard way. And law bless that lady's heart, she taught me how to do it in the microwave. So, this is kind of her vanilla custard microwave style. So um, we're gonna get started on that, get it made and get it cooled. I do have a homemade pie crust. You do not need to have a pie, homemade pie crust. If most of you know me, know that I never make homemade pie crust. I just happened to make it when I made the shoe fly pie. I made a homemade crust. So I have laid it out of the freezer. It's getting warm and ready for me to roll out, but you by all means do not have to have a homemade pie crust. But let's get started on the custard so we can get it made, get it cooled, and so I can run, get some peanut butter. Okay y'all, so the first thing we're going to do is separate four eggs. I want the yolks. Um, now you can either trash the whites, but I would keep them. Um, you can mix them in with your scrambled eggs the next morning. You can um, make a meringue. Of course, this pie doesn't have a meringue, um, <clears throat> but keep them. You can use them for something. Something. All right, let me get you turned down here. Whoa, sorry guys. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's see, where's my bowl? Here it is. I'm going to put my whites over here and my yolks in the All right, there's one. Two. 
All right, I'm gonna finish doing this and I'll bring you right back. Okay, so to our eggs, we are going to add two cups of milk. <clears throat> One cup. Two cups. Okay, I'm gonna add in a half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of sugar. And I'm gonna grab some self-rising flour. All right, and to our mixture, I'm gonna add in a third of a cup of self-rising flour. All right, now I'm gonna give this a really good whisk. And I mean, I'm gonna whisk it well. Not just a little bit, it's gonna get mixed really good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this in the microwave. Let me get you guys turned up here where you can see me. Um, it's going in the microwave for three minutes. I'll take it out, whisk it, put it back in for another three minutes, or um, depending on how it's getting thick. It just depends. You just take it out. First time I go three minutes, I check it, and if it needs another three minutes, do it. And then it's probably a minute at a time from then on. But um, So I'm going to do that, and we'll be right back. Okay, so I definitely wanted you guys to see. Here it is after three minutes. It definitely needs more time, but I'm gonna give it a good whisk. And I just want you to see what it looks like. It's had, it was just starting to get maybe a little bit of thickness on top, but for the most part, it's still very liquidy. So back in for another three minutes, it goes. Here we are at the second three minute mark. <clears throat> Yeah, I can already tell you it's gonna need some more, but let's whisk it and see. You can see it's somewhat thicker. And you wanna take that thick part and whisk it into the liquid. And it's definitely getting thicker. Whisk it really, 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 really good. And I think I'm gonna do two minutes this time just to see. Two minutes have lapsed again, so this is a total of six, seven, eight minutes, and let's see where we are. Oh goodness, I think that is absolutely perfect. You want it to look like a good vanilla pudding, and it will set up as it cools. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, just to add to it, to make it silky and delicious, we're going to add in a couple of tablespoons of butter. We're going to get those all mixed in, let them melt, and that's going to give it that silky, delicious, wonderfulness. Now, this is the same pudding you would use in your banana pudding. Um, all you need to add now is your vanilla wafers and your bananas. Keep your egg whites for your meringue and you've got a delicious banana pudding. All right, we've got the butter all mixed in now. And so one more thing to add is I'm gonna add about a good tablespoon of vanilla. <clears throat> Now look at that beautiful pudding. Is that not wonderful? You can do this, you can make chocolate pudding this way and your kids have a great little snack. All right, so we're gonna let this cool. I'm gonna put a piece of saran wrap down on it and over the container. Um, and we're just gonna let it cool. So right now I'm gonna clean up this area and then work on getting my pie crust in the oven. You do need to pre-bake your pie crust. And please listen to me. <laughs> listen to me. One who makes homemade pie crust and one who does not. I do both. Um, buy you a store-bought pie crust. 
You don't have to worry about rolling it out. I mean, you may have to stretch it out a little bit, roll it out a little bit. You don't have to worry about rolling it out. They've come such a long way over the years. They are just as good almost as homemade pie crust and buy you a store-bought pie crust. It's best to work smarter, not harder. And that is one way us housewives, us mothers, or us just cooks in general can make things a little bit easier on us and not miss out on the taste any. But the reason I'm using homemade is because I have them in my freezer. I need to make room in my freezer and um, that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna clean this up and get this ready to roll it out and pre-bake it. I've got my oven at 425 and I'll bring you back when I get it ready. Okay guys, let me just reiterate again after fighting with this crust because I let it get too warm. I use store-bought crust. <laughs> so anyway, as you can see, I've put fork holes all in it. Um, I'm thinking about putting some parchment down and some pinto beans on top just to hold it down so it doesn't puff up. Um, but I'm going to bake it at 425 for about eight minutes. So I'm back with the peanut butter, but first let's go ahead and whisk up some homemade whipped cream. I'm going to use two cups of heavy cream, a half a cup of powdered sugar, and a little bit of vanilla in my stand mixer here with the whisk attachment on and just beat it till it makes um, a fluffy whipped cream. Whipped cream is made and I know you're saying, where's the peanut butter? So here we go. We're fixing to add the peanut butter. It's not what I think of as a peanut butter pie, but it's what the Amish call a peanut butter pie. I'm super excited. I'm going to make a little extra of this um, crumb mixture and um, because I want to add more of it than probably what they do. But, um, and that's just because I know my husband's going to want to taste some peanut butter. So let me grab the ingredients and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to start with a cup of powdered sugar. I'll turn you down in just a second. Let me get this measured out. And actually, I'm going to do a cup and a half because I'm going to go ahead and make a little extra to begin with. So a cup and a half of powdered sugar just went down into my, my bowl that you can't see. <laughs> there it is. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm going to measure out a little um, three-fourths of a cup of peanut butter. And I'm going to scoop that out and get it measured out before I put it in there. So we're going three-fourths. So this is a half cup measure, and so I'm going to fill it up and then put half, fill it back half full. Okay, I had the neatest thing happen to me today. Um, I got an email from a viewer, and she says, I love your videos. I just subscribed. I got, um, I've tried your biscuits and, um, she mentioned several things. And then she says, I have some relatives. I'm from Texas, but I have some relatives in Ashboro. Um, maybe you know them. And she listed them. And it was actually my aunt and my cousin. And I said, well, you're not going to believe this, but that's my aunt and my cousin. And a little bit about what she had said in her first email made me think, hmm, I may know who this is. <laughs> and turns out, sure enough, it was crazy. We're related. Um, she's going to call me later today. I'm super excited. Um, it was really neat. Um, and she lives in Texas. And... Um, it was pretty awesome. I love it when those neat little things happen. Now, I'm just breaking it up with a fork. I, I can't find my blending fork, but I'm just breaking it up, and we're going to make little crumbs, little peanut butter crumbs out of this. And I'm making more than what they put in theirs, um, just because I want a few more layers of the peanut butter. I think they just sprinkle theirs on top 
where I'm going to sprinkle mine all over. So, um, uh, well, in each layer. Okay, so let's put this pie together. Now you're fixing to see how I went to battle with my pie crust. <laughs> and why I say buy a store-bought pie crust. But anyway, that's okay. It's still going to taste heavenly. But yeah, it came apart and broke apart. But that's okay. See, I got a few cracks. That's okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of these peanut crumbs in the bottom of this delicious but ugly pie shell. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna put our custard or our pudding, if I can find my, <clears throat> we're gonna put it right over in here. So let's just smear that around. Now if that's too thick for you, you can always add a little milk and thin it up. All right. Delicious. Okay, now, I think the way they do it is they go ahead and put the whipped cream on top, but I'm going to put just a few more pe peanut butter sprinkles, only because my husband adores peanut butter, and I want him to get plenty of peanut butter in this. So we're going to add an extra layer of this peanut butter crumb. We're going to stick this in the refrigerator after I put the whipped cream on top. All right, we saved a few. Let me rinse my hands. I'll be right back. I can't even get it off. Okay, y'all, here is our homemade whipped cream. And let me just say, buy store-bought crust, but make homemade whipped cream. It is so much better than, you know, the tub stuff. And I'm going to put plenty of this on here. Oh my goodness. There's nothing like homemade whipped cream. Now, of course, I buy the Cool Whip, like if I'm mixing it in with something or whatever. But if I'm... I don't know. Some things just need homemade whipped cream. And I'm kind of imagining that this pie is going to be one of them. It just needs that homemade whipped cream. And that's what we're giving it. It's going to be so good, y'all. And I'm going to pile it just as high as I can with whipped cream. We're going to put it all on there because that is some good stuff. I mean, there's just nothing like it. Nothing like it. Okay. Now what we're going to do, well, I'll see what I did. Mm. So good. Got it on my mouth. Okay. So what we're going to do to finish this off is we're going to sprinkle a few more of these peanut butter, whoopsie, crumbs. on this pie. Are 
or slide it over here a little bit so I don't start spilling peanut butter and powdered sugar on the floor. All right, guys. There you have it. An Amish peanut butter pie is going to be so good. I can't wait. I can't wait for Bryant to try it. I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator right now. Get it nice and cool. I don't want these crumbs to go to waste, but anyway, there's not many left. I used just about all of it. Okay, guys. Going in the refrigerator. We'll taste it in a little while. After supper, probably. Well, y'all, it's not dinner time. It's not dessert time. Let's push it back where we can see. But Bryant came in. He's been out working. I got water on my shirt. And so I thought, let's just go ahead and let give him a little treat and let him try the peanut butter pie. Because peanut butter is my favorite. It's his addiction. Yeah. yeah. It's his addiction. I don't have addiction, so. You do the peanut butter. You think so? <clears throat> I've explained to him this is not his normal peanut butter pie. And I don't know yet what that means. Oh, I left the crust. <laughs> I left the crust. Hang on. <laughs> Gotta get the crust. It's part of the best part. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Just get you a little bite of it. Alright. Oh here, here's your fork. Describe it to me since I didn't see you make it. I don't know. You just you just got to try it. Okay. Have you tried it? No. So how do you know? I don't know. I don't have know you, anything about it. Have you I don't made, like peanut butter pie. Have you ever made this? No, I've never made this. Okay. Well, let me lift you guys up. Look at that. It's so thick. Mm -hmm. It is thick. Homemade whipped cream. I will tell you that. You made it? Mm -hmm. Homemade custard. I'll tell you that. Mm, that is unique. It's really good though. Is that a good unique or... Yeah, because a lot of times with peanut butter pies, it's way overbalanced with peanut butter. Mm -hmm. But you get a little whipped cream, you get a little peanut butter, you get a little custard. So it's really, really balanced, really good. Mm -hmm. I don't like peanut butter pie. I like peanut butter. Oh, I'm afraid I'll like it. <laughs> yeah, it's good. The Amish have got it going on. Mm -hmm. um, that is really good. Huh? Mm. That, that's a very thin layer of peanut butter. Look, you see that little layer of peanut butter at the bottom? Then you see the custard, and then you see the whipped cream. That's good. What's in the custard? It's just a vanilla pudding custard mm -hmm. that I made. Mm -hmm. In the microwave. Really good. So it's an easy pie? Oh, yeah. I mean, you got to make your homemade whipped cream. Mm -hmm. It's unique. Um, I like it. I like that better than I like peanut butter pie. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. It's not too. It's not too heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a straight peanut butter pie is too heavy. Mm -mm. Sure. Yep. I'm watching my figure. Oh, me too. <laughs> Delicious. All right, so is it a keeper? Definitely a keeper. Definitely a keeper. And y'all, that is a huge... If I changed anything... Look how huge that pie is. <laughs> if you changed anything, you would change what? I need more peanut butter. <laughs> more peanut butter. <laughs> because I like peanut butter. Of course you would. Okay, so... And I actually added more than what it called for. Mm -hmm. So, I knew he would like it as far as peanut butter, so I'll just know to add more next time. Of course, I'm the one that just he spoons eats it and right spoons and jar. spoons of peanut butter. Yeah, yeah, he is a peanut butter fanatic. Yeah. I like peanut butter like Reese Cups. I like um, I like peanut butter and crackers. It's a pretty pie. It is a pretty pie. Mm -hmm. It's a real pretty pie. So, it's good. <laughs> He's still eating it. Okay, guys, so there you have it. This peanut butter pie is a must on your um, to-do list. I have a fascination with the Amish life and the Amish people, and um, I think they have a lot of things right in the way they're a community. They come together as a community, and their food is delicious. And so um, I wanted to try this pie because this is kind of a staple in, in, in most Amish houses. 
is this peanut butter pie. And like I said, it's not what I think of when I hear the word peanut butter pie, but I think it's delicious. Did you tell them we're going to name our next son Caleb? <laughs> our next son, we're not having any more sons. <laughs> we're done. But you're fascinated with the almond. I am. Okay. I am. I think I have a, an amazing life. I think Caleb is it. Our next son. So anyway, try this pie. It is delish. Never you had won't one. be sorry. Never had one quite like it. And always make that homemade whipped cream. Yeah. That the tub stuff can't beat it. I think it was it Caroline the other night. I thought she was going to eat it out the tub. Yeah, yeah, that I made. So yeah, it's, it's delicious. Good. It is really okay. Good. Thank you guys for watching the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Stay tuned. We got some healthy recipes coming up this week to go with this decadent <clears throat> recipe. But anyway, so. Stay tuned and remember the grease is hot enough. You can fry anything. Bye guys. Bye y'all.